welcome everyone. Stop and look at something pretty amazing through this window. Check this out, look. See those horses right there? Do you see them? Any clue what those horses in that merry-go-round was? That's the exact location and spot here on the Santa Monica Pier, right through there. It says carousel open, but it's really not open. They don't open until 11 o'clock, according to the sign. The Santa Monica Carousel Operating Hours. That's the exact spot that John Ritter in the cast of Three's Company, right in there, would have rode on the merry-go-round. Not the Roper years, the later Don Knotts Furley years. Right inside there, the, the opening, they were on there. John Ritter was teetering on the two horses. Somewhere on one of those horses right there was Don Knotts and John Ritter. It's my second channel, Daily Blog Channel, the Daily Woo. I tried doing like the Threes Company opening, opening, but I didn't do it correctly. It's my second channel, it's the Daily Woo. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel, the Daily Woo. That was horrible, I could have done that a lot better, but I haven't had any caffeine, so give me a break. Does that look familiar to you right there? Right here is where the three characters, John Ritter, Chrissy, and Janet, would have walked straight up. Actually, I don't think it was Chrissy. I think it was the later years when my hoodie just fell down. I don't think it was Chrissy. It was the other one that replaced Chrissy. Who was the one that replaced Chrissy? Leave a comment below. They would have walked straight off that way. As you can tell because of the left-hand side there of that little archway going up over the pier. In fact, there's three people walking off there recreating the shot Three's Company, the famous Three's Company carousel. Merry-go-round. It's been here forever. And this has been here forever. And of course, this has been here forever. Not technically forever, but it has been here quite a while. I also want to let you guys know that yesterday, actually two days ago, was two months in. So two days ago was two months in. So I'm on 62 days right now on the current road trip, seeing a lot of fantastic things. I need to do laundry, though. I've been wearing this Mickey Mouse shirt for three days now. Three days. Yellow fire hydrant. Maybe I could open up the fire hydrant, put my Mickey Mouse shirt right in front of there. I actually have other clothes to wear. I could put another t-shirt on. The crazy thing is, once you start having, having had a shower in like two days, you figure, why change clothes? Heck it, I'm not going to change clothes. I'm just going to wear the same shirt. So hopefully I'm going to get a shower today and do some laundry. I have a little bit of laundry to do. I should probably get that done, hopefully. So let's go on venturing onto the Santa Monica there's a sign right there. No motorized vehicles beyond this point. Welcome to the Santa Monica Pier, everyone. Let's go inside and take a closer look. Santa Monica Pier. Do you know this is actually the official or the unofficial end of the route? 66. I'll show you the sign up here. It's pretty awesome. Actually, let's check this out. the route ends 66 and look at this hat I'm wearing a route 66 hat how ironic or coincidental which is it coincidental or ironic that I'm wearing a route 66 hat on the end of route 66 you decide ironic or coincidental leave a comment below it's also coincidental there's a police officer here I don't know why that's coincidental but there is a police officer actually it's just there's the, actually the Santa Monica police station is on the pier if you were a police officer, wouldn't you want to be stationed on a pier next to a fantastic dolphin? That dolphin looks like he's about ready to launch into the stratosphere. He's a launching dolphin. See him? Launching dolphin. Here's actually a more fantastic sign of the end of the trail. Look, the end. It's the end of the trail. It's the end of the trail right here. The end of the trail. The Route 66 trail. The crazy thing is, it's not the end for me. It's only the beginning. It's always only the beginning. No matter what day it is, it's always the beginning. Just because just I'm at the end of Route 66 doesn't mean it's the beginning of another wonderful adventure. Whoa, look at those waves. Look at these waves over here. The guy's having some problem with his tarp. The wind is whipping up and his tarp is just blowing off hurricane style out here. Look at the waves. The wind is whipping up so heavily. That's where I'm wearing my hoodie. It's actually pretty warm, but the wind is gusting. 
gusting so much that you can see the waves crashing. Look at this. If you can't get a really good shot of the waves through my iPhone, maybe we should put that here. This is one of those things that you look through and you get through there. I think you gotta pay for those now. Remember when those were free? Now you actually have to pay. You gotta put like a quarter or probably 75 cents, or maybe even two dollars in those gizmos to look off at the massively awesome horizon of Santa Monica. I was here yesterday walking around into the evening, actually, and they had all this lit up, all the famous carousels, and of course the awesome Ferris wheel over there was lit up. I stayed in my van about a mile that way, found some free parking. You didn't have to pay a dime to park, which is pretty awesome. No parking on my end. I played Darth for free. I stayed for free. I woke up and I got to hear and smell the beach. How fantastic is that? To be cruising around, like I said, 62 days into my current road trip. And I get to end it right here at the end of Route 66. The beginning of the water. Route 66 ends. Water begins. This makes me really confused. I haven't, I haven't had to use the bath in this morning, but all these waves crashing. I want to use the facilities. to ride that. Maybe later I'll go and see how much the Ferris wheel is. Ride the famous Ferris wheel. The Three's Company Ferris wheel. They actually never rode a Ferris wheel. But in the show, remember they rode some bumper cars? Those bumper cars are gone. Unfortunately, those bumper cars are gone. I tried to find them. I think I was going to ride the bumper cars where John Ritter smashed into the other person. And he had that look of craziness on his face. And when Larry sat, and had, sat down next to the woman, and it was really a guy with a mustache, I wanted to recreate that same 